Hi guys, and welcome to my review of Solar Flux. Uh, this game was part of the uh, Indiegawa Rise of Flight bundle. Um, I believe it was a beat the average um, tier game. And I have really enjoyed this game, uh, though it is really um, difficult. Like It's easy to understand and play the first couple of levels, but then if you want to try and get the three stars full completion of them, it gets to be really difficult. So the game is uh, set in space and it's played where you are a little uh, ship that is trying to collect plasma um, and then you shoot the plasma at the suns and then it restores the suns back to equilibrium. You're trying to save suns in this way. In the game genre is uh, puzzle um, indie game basically. Um, it has a lot of the um, the nice aesthetics that comes with the indie games. It's one of the reasons I really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to jump in and play a couple of the tutorial levels. Actually, it may not let me go back. Um, okay, yeah, okay. I'll do the training levels and then explain how this is played. So basically you... you uh, you have a lot of ways of moving around. One of the simplest ways is simply using your thrusters. So you just click behind you and your guy will move. And the physics in this game um, are based on inertia and momentum. So it's something you have to get used to. Uh, you can't just... Um, well, you can just always hold the, th the thrusters on um, behind you, but it's not an efficient way of moving. You want to you want to manage where your momentum is and just do just enough thrust so that you get to be heading in a certain way and you'll keep heading that way in that speed. But right there was not a good example. Perhaps I'll get better as I go. Let's see. So now I'm just launching from the space station to collect some plasma. You see at the bottom left, this is the fuel canister. It tells you how much more fuel you have left for using your thrusters. And this thing at the right is a heat shield. And it tells you how much more uh, sun radiation you can take before you blow up. There's also a mechanic in the game where you can hide behind the shadow, uh, or hide in the shadow of a planet or uh, asteroid or whatnot, and that will cool down your your shield so that you can take more radiation damage so let's see here oh, okay so you get these right now since it's the training levels you have unlimited fuel it looks like all right now delivering you can also shoot the plasma at the suns and then it will make a, a wave for you to ride. So one of the more advanced mechanics of the game is riding those. Also here shows the, the orbiting mechanic. If you just get within a certain distance of a planet or whatever is producing an orbit, then it'll just pull you into it and then you can conserve fuel in that way. It's a technique that's necessary if you want to be able to complete the harder challenges in the game, which include things like not using any thrust or doing it within a certain speed. Let's see. So here is an example of the um, the writing the flares. So I just shot it that way, and it was as if there was propulsion from coming from the left to the right, so it shot me to the left. And right there, this is the uh, shadow. So if it was a level where I had a lot of heat damage, then I would want to go in the shadow. Let's see. Oh. No, I'm not doing well. Huh? 
Ja. Ran out of fuel, I guess. Yeah, it was a terrible run right there. Drag in here. See, even with that, which I thought was pretty good, I didn't get three stars, so that's just an example of how the game can be pretty difficult. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's, let's restart that. So what I need to do here is just grab all of the plasmas and then shoot them after I've got them. Here we go. Oh, I guess I'm already in the levels. I didn't realize it, but yeah, these are these are the actual levels and not the training levels anymore. Because this is uh, two, three, so we're in the third level, I guess. Because all the one, one, the all the one levels were just training. So here, looks like I'm gonna try and get in the orbit of that top planet, grab both of those plasmas, and then move down to the middle and over here. Let's see. Alright. Oh, that was that was a bad idea. Bad idea. So I don't want to shoot the plasma there, because it'll knock me out of orbit. This game is really a game, um, for patient people and honestly I was not all that patient because once I got to like the third tier levels I, I was just I was over it I didn't want to spend so much time trying to perfect like the the perfect um, twitch reaction and perfect momentum But I do think the game is really cool, and I think that people who do enjoy a patient um, puzzle game will really enjoy this game. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Oh, not quite. I'm trying to use the solar flare to knock me out of orbit, and it's kind of difficult. I did not mean to do that. Nope, nope. You notice how at the top right it shows zero 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 in the three stars. I think what that means is that you're not supposed to use any fuel in order to get the three stars. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. And um, I imagine you have to ride the solar flare to move about the orbits, but just right now I can't seem to be getting it. Oh. Okay, that's how you need to do it, and you have to get it at the perfect timing. No, no, no.
All right. <laughs> Gonna skip this one. Let's see. So, see, I've only gotten to three one. Um, so I, I guess I will try that one right now just to see what that is like. Okay. So. What do I gotta do here? Oh, I think that's exactly what I need to do. That's perfect. Perfect. Wow, I was lucky. <laughs> Just a great timing there to ride the solar flare. Because, like I said, you know, if you don't put it at the right time in your momentum um, compared to the solar flare, then you won't be able to um, to move out of the orbits properly. Otherwise, you just go flying off into space somewhere. But that was that was perfect. Guess have a go at one more. What's this? Imagine I gotta use these to orient myself. Oh, but it looks like that's what I need to do though. the rocks oh and I missed the flare or the plasma rather I got this game for uh, six or seven dollars as the second tier of the rise of flight bundle uh, but if you are interested in it it is on Steam right now for ten dollars I believe ten dollars yeah and overall for me I would rate this game a seven out of ten um, and specifically I think the gameplay I gave it a seven out of ten and I gave the the art an eight out of ten I really like the art um, it seems to be a recurring theme to me with all these indie games I really enjoy the art and the music and that might just be a personal thing, so I mean, keep that in mind um, and rate the title according to your own preferences. But uh, that is it, and thank you for watching.